Okay, hey gang, welcome back. Well, we're pretty excited to share this with you. Um, got a new Testo 330 flue gas analyzer, and we are going to test the stove. So I got the probe in the flue pipe there, and I've been warming the stove up for about half an hour. Got a little fan there. This is kind of cool. I made a little um, thermoelectric generator that runs those little LED lights up there. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's pretty fun. Runs a fan, runs some lights, a couple different tags there. Okay, so it's empty right now, but it's ready for some fuel. And uh, I'm going to fire up the tester and we'll get a chart off of the computer there logging and we'll see how she does. It's really, really rainy and humid outside, so I might have to do this again. There's Chihuahua for scale. Alrighty, so I just packed it full of fuel. And uh, we are running there. So the top number is the stack temperature, 285. 13% oxygen in the airstream. 31 parts per million uh, carbon monoxide and 70 parts per million adjusted carbon monoxide that includes the excess air, um, which is the number at the very bottom in percent, 145% excess air dropping. And the number in between those two is 82.1. That's our efficiency, um, I believe, using stack loss method of calculating. So our auction's going down. Our CO is pretty darn low. So the fuel is now catching. Our auction's going down and our CO is coming up. Um, but yeah, we'll see that on the chart. So we'll check in in a few minutes here. Okay, well it's been a few minutes. And we spiked the CO there for a second. It'll show up on the chart when all the fuel pyrolyzed at once and our oxygen went real low. Um, I think 8.3 or something. And uh, and now we're getting it back under control. So CO is dropping, well, not anymore. <laughs> Anyways, pretty low. Our efficiency is pretty good, 83.9. And as you can see, our excess air, uh, the number up there is 8.6%, and on the bottom, 69.7% of, uh, or 8.7% air, oxygen, rather, is the lower number. And that 69% number is excess air. So efficiency is 83.8. Not bad. And CO is pretty low. That's a pretty good load of fuel in there. Alright, she's settling in here. Nice low CO. 13 parts per million. 23 adjusted for the excess air. 12 parts per million. Our efficiency is still, like I said, low 80s. It's just really tough to do much better than that, <laughs> it seems like. But uh, yeah, 10 parts per million CO, 9 parts per million CO. Our excess air is coming up now a little bit, and that's hurting our efficiency. You can see it pretty quickly there, affecting that efficiency number, 82.8, um, as our air comes up. I expect the fuel is going to drop here, and we're going to get another blast of fuel through there, and air should go back down, and CO might come up again. Um, but she's pretty stable right there. Yeah, we're doing great on the CO. Look at that, eight parts per million. Isn't that something? All right, so the fuel just dropped. It takes a minute for it to get through the flue there, but I guess our oxygen's gonna go down, the second number from the top, and our CO's probably gonna go up. Let's see what happens here. Oh yeah. <coughs> So what happened is new fuel, tops of the sticks, fell into the burn tunnel, and it's really hot in there, right? So they pyrolyze quick, so they give off a lot of gas. So it's doing its best to consume that gas, mix it with the oxygen. Um, and as you can see, it, it causes the oxygen, the 9.7 number there, to go down um, as, the, as we get a richer fuel mixture. Um, and it recovered CO never really got very high there. It went to 20 or something. Like, um, we're at 11 parts per million now. And 
uh, yeah, she's doing really good. Still, you know, efficiency 82.7, so that, you know, I've tested this thing a number of times now. And, uh, and a couple 6-inch systems, and it seems like mid or low 80% real world is uh, a pretty standard figure here. Um, Peter, I saw that 90% something in the MHA website for Michael's hydronic batch heater. That's something. Alrighty. So that is coming to the end of this load. It's still really hot. Actually, that barrel is blazing. That was a hot load of fuel there. So that was um, fur cut pretty small. Uh, and you can hear it sizzling. I checked the moisture. It was between 15 and 17 percent. Um, so pretty good. Not the driest wood, but pretty good. And you can see we're getting to the end. Our, our oxygen is getting higher, right? We're at 12, 7, 12, 8. But our CO is still just staying low. Typically as we get to the cooling stage, that CO starts to rise. Um, the stove is rock solid, it seems like, on eating the CO. I'm not sure if it's just the insulation in the back there really focusing the heat or what it is but uh, yeah it's real steady so I'm gonna let this thing go for just a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna stop it and capture the chart so yeah 14 percent air still seven parts per million CO 22 adjusted for how much oxygen is in there I'm sorry 14 percent oxygen air. all right so we're getting to the end here 14.5% oxygen, still 7 parts per million CO, um, but we're getting to the end of this batch, so I'm going to let her go for a couple minutes and shut her down and we'll take a look at the chart. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'll do these every now and then, uh, especially when I have different stoves to test. If anyone out there wants to get a stove tested, let me know. Um, I'd be really curious to see how other stoves stack up. Okay, thanks for watching.